Hello and welcome to video 7 on the Combi controller. Today we're going to discuss service menu. The service menu has a whole range of items and it can be, when you go into it, can be quite mind-boggling. But they all have a simple purpose. So items 10 to 15 actually cover what your fan speeds are set to within a certain parameter. So <clears throat> on your main screen, the fan icon will have one, two, three or four blades hashed out. I should say more accurately, four impeller blades hashed out um, to tell you what speed you're on. And within that, the fans are set to a percentage of their potential output. And if we look at fan speed three, 75% potential output is kind of normal, but when they're commissioned, we actually change them slightly. Uh, and we set them up so that the airflow going out is exactly the same, or as near as we can get it, uh, to the airflow coming in. And that balance means we get the most effective heat recovery. So if we go through these menus now, I should just say that you probably should leave your fan settings as they were commissioned, unless there's a very good reason to change them. And it's probably a good idea to check um, with ourselves uh, or a commissioning agent just to make sure before you make a change. Item 16, set minus three degrees, is actually uh, a, a differential that you can set for the temperature sensor in here. Normally we leave it as it is. The next item down 17 is to do a change in the boost period. So you can set the boost period to blocks of three, four hours, even more if you wish to. Normally we wouldn't change that. Filter stop function, this is a function which means if the filter's not changed after the alarm has been on for 14 days, the system will shut down. We generally leave that off. Heating element, this is the electric uh, hot water element and the default setting for this is 50 degrees. The electric element is controlled by a sensor at the top of the tank. And interestingly, the heat pump, which heats all of the tank, uh, is controlled by a sensor at the bottom of the tank. And the reason for that difference is that we want to use the electric element as little as possible, but we want to make it as effective as possible. It is only a one kilowatt heater, so a normal um, immersion heater would be three kilowatt, um, but we only need a small one in here for two reasons. One, to give us emergency hot water or to speed up the total heating of the tank if we're in a bit of a rush. And also to provide disinfection mode, which is item 20 and the next one down. When they're commissioned, when the systems are commissioned, we would set disinfection mode to on. Um, where there's a lot of water usage, it probably doesn't make a huge amount of difference, but it is, it is useful to have it on and it's a good safety feature just to sterilise your water on a weekly basis. The next one down, see I made the fatal mistake, I set it to on and didn't press the save button. The next one down, domestic water air off. The default setting for these machines is for water to be a heating priority. So this machine will only heat water or air, one or the other, can't do both at the same time. I always feel that water is an absolute priority and so heating water first is how they are set. But you can change that priority if you wish to. I wouldn't normally recommend you do that. It's best to keep it, uh, keep item 21 set to off, which means it will prioritize water first. However, 
Uh, there might be a circumstance where you want to concentrate on heating the air rather than water and that's easy to change and change back if you so wish. Uh, in fact, it's a simple button press, on, etc, or off. There we go. Next one down. This is the cycle time of the system. Every 20 seconds it checks the sensors and changes the temperatures accordingly. 23 is the power regulation. This is the time period between outputs from the compressor. Uh, minimum airflow is the minimum amount of airflow that is sufficient for the heat pump to work effectively. Any airflows below 30% of the fan capacity means that the heat pump will not run because it can't, there is insufficient air for it to dissipate any heat that it generates. Um, electric heat, um, most people don't have one fitted, but if you do, it would be set to one mode. Solar coil, if you've got one uh, to, for additional water heating, that uses a hysteresis, that's the difference between when it starts and when it stops, of five degrees. Auxiliary relay is uh, if you need an additional function like uh, extra dampers um, or to run a pump or whatever, um, you, can, you can use the item 27. Stop unit, um, I usually like to switch this on because it's an easy way of stopping the fans if you want to check the filters. I always think it's a good idea to stop the fans before you open the filter, uh, the filter cabinet. And the reason for that is there might well be 101 flies that have been sucked in and you really don't want them in the rest of the house. Uh, and if the, if the fans are switched off, um, you probably find they're resting quietly on the filter. You can vacuum them up, end of story. Stop defrost, we never change this unless you're in the Cairngorms, in which case it would probably be about eight degrees. And this is the point at which the system automatically stops defrosting. Compressor differential is 0.4 of a degree. And what that means, again, this is a hysteresis. So if, for example, you set a target temperature of 21 degrees, the compressor will actually run on, or the heat pump runs on, to 21.4 and it will then stop and it won't start again until the room temperature has dropped to 20.6 which is 0.4 of a degree below the set point. Hope that's clear. Constant on is a function uh, to force the compressor to continue running even if you're over temperature. Um, Anyone who has a wood-burning stove in their property might find this function useful. And essentially what happens is with a wood-burning stove, you can, you can have one room that becomes very hot and the rest of the house becomes very cold. And the temperature setting, item 32, is the temperature at which constant on is activated. So when the outside air temperature drops below five degrees, that's when constant on is activated. Normally, this function is set to off. Reduced air flows, again, we rarely use them uh, in most of the UK because you need to have temperatures of minus 10 before you need to start looking at that. So I won't go into that in too much detail. Um, there you are, minus 10 is the reduced supply temperature and we're reducing that temperature but at that speed by 20%. Uh, we also have auxiliary relays, we have earth collectors, we have some that are not in use. And again, minimum air supply is the amount of air you need for the compressor to run. That's on the supply side rather than the extract. Modbus mode is for uh, people who want to uh, remotely change settings on their system. Um, Preheat is a function for preheating if you've got very cold temperatures. Again, for most of the UK, we don't need to worry too much about that. An awful lot of those, um, I'll, go, I'll scan through those and get to 51. Bypass max, so the bypass function is uh, 
uh, through it set to three degrees and this is the temperature differential between your target and the point at which the bypass operates. So the bypass diverts air around the heat exchanger rather than through it and that means that the air can be cooler coming into your property in the summer. Three degrees then would mean that if your target temperature was 21 the bypass would operate at 24. You also need to bear in mind that if you're heating water the bypass won't operate. The reason for that is there's too much energy going into the coil uh, and you'll get a high pressure error. And finally, bypass uh, set to four degrees. This is item 52. This is a differential. Uh, it's, the default is four degrees. It would be much better at eight. And what that means is that the bypass function will cease to operate if the fresh air temperature is more than 8 degrees below your target temperature. So if we're talking 21 degrees for the property, uh, that means once the air temperature outside drops below 13, the bypass won't work. You can stop the bypass working altogether, um, or sorry, you can stop the stop bypass function by changing that to zero degrees. But give us a call if you want more information on that. Thank you for watching.